more and what do you have to say? How happy are you today? I am really excited to be welcomed by uh, such a big crowd. I would like to take this opportunity and express um, my, uh, register my appreciation uh, to both the GDC and the youth of Banjo that came out uh, to, uh, to welcome me at the airport and have also taken me around the city of Banjo as well. It's an excitement to have you all um, and it's a pleasure also to run on the GD, GDC uh, ticket. Uh, reason being uh, Banjul, as we know, is the capital city of the Gambia. I have been in the UK for the past 16 years and I work uh, for the city council, which is the sixth biggest local authority in the UK. As a senior housing officer, I'm also a magistrate uh, in the UK. So I'm not coming for Joe's position. I am here to work with Honorable Kambi and develop Banjul. Um, uh, what do you have for Banjul? The, the plans that I've got for Banjul, as we can see, uh, there isn't... Uh, enough electricity or energy supply in Banjo, which is one of the biggest problems that we have as a city. The other problem we have is sanitation uh, in the city. The city is quite dirty. It's been neglected for years. It's our responsibility, or it would be my responsibility as a mayor, to make sure that, I mean, bins are provided. The garbage that we've got behind uh, behind the sanitarium, we change that garbage into energy. Uh, I have I've been uh, working on projects, or I've been looking at project proposals regarding that, uh, to see how best we can use that waste uh, that's there, that's been gathered for over 70 years, how best we can possibly turn that into energy and again the gas that comes out of that, we capture that and again use that uh, for, for, uh, for our air conditions and again uh, fill the, uh, the free freezers and stuff like that. These are things that are happening in the developed world and I can't see why it, it can't happen in Banjo. The other problem we have is uh, in Banjo we've got problems with accommodation, housing I'm talking about. I'm talking about good accommodation. I want to see to it that Banjo as a city have what's called social housing with our council homes which would be under the council which would be rented out to poor Banjulians that are in rented properties. Uh, we can also look at uh, renting out some of those properties to people that are coming to Banjul for work for example. Uh, the other thing that I want to look at is I want to look at how best we can maximize the income of the capital city as well to make sure that it's self-reliant and independent. I am also looking at mapping out the whole of the city. I want to map it out in such a way that we would have like a political area, for example, an administrative area in the city. You will have like a tourism de development area. You will have a commercial area as well. And again, you will also have like housing area. These are things that would be long term, but these are some of the things that I'm looking at. I am also looking at uh, dealing with youth and unemployment. Banjul it's affected, the Gambia I would say in general, in terms of young people that are, uh, that are migrating and leaving, leaving Banjul or uh, the Gambia uh, going to, uh, through the back way, going to the Sahara Desert and again uh, uh, some of them are dying in the Mediterranean Sea and stuff like that. I need to look at uh, strategies that could be put in place to make sure that we capture those people and again give them the, the necessary skills so that they remain in the country and contribute their quota. Um, thank you very much. Um, so. Let me call you mayor. Thanks I will so much. call you mayor from now on. Thank you very much. But uh, I want to tell you that I'm very happy today. Thanks so much. I'm really, really happy. And the reason why I'm happy today is I um, I met someone like you because when we were going around Banjun and we came up to a place where the um, some men were gathering and they said that they will not come to greet you, greet you rather mm -hmm. but you have to go and greet them instead yeah, yeah. you came out of the car and went and sit hands with each and every one of them mm -hmm. that shows how caring and how down to earth you are mm -hmm. and this is why I'm very happy and I can say this over and over again mm -hmm. and this is why we are behind you thank and you. praying for you day in day night we are always praying for you thank, thank you. you so much we thank are wishing you your luck much. and may Allah guide you and protect you thank you so much, so much. Thank you so much, my dear. Thank you very much to all of you. Thanks so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.